Hi, I'm Rachel Basco with Bossier Parish Community College, and this module will cover abbreviations. Abbreviations are commonly used for conditions or tests. They help to make communication go faster, both when we speak to people and when we write things down. Usually, we use the first letter of each word for which it stands, much like the abbreviations that are used in texting. For example, we have LOL, which means laugh out loud, and TTYL, which means talk to you later. Diagnostic tests also use abbreviation. This is an example of a CAT scan machine. A CAT scan machine will take x-rays at different levels of a human body by use of a computer. Therefore, we call it a computer-assisted tomography. But for short, it's CAT scan or CT scan. Diagnostic tests also utilize abbreviations. For example, this is a blood test called a BUN. It will measure the blood urea nitrogen in the person's blood. This is used for patients who have kidney disease or for which we want to look at the patient's kidney function. This is an example of a different way we get an abbreviation, the ECG. The ECG is an electrocardiogram. This is a record of the electricity of the patient's heart. The C comes from in the middle of the word, so it is not a separate word. Other medical conditions would be DM1 and DM2. D stands for diabetes and M is mellitus. AIDS utilizes both the first letter of a word and also the letters in the middle of the word. For example, AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. So you can see why it would be an advantage to use the abbreviation AIDS while, rather than when talking to people, we would say this patient has Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome as well as when we would write because AIDS we can write much faster. So in this module, we will only talk about the abbreviation for which it stands. But keep in mind, if you were to take a real medical terminology course, such as one at a college, a university, or another type of school, you would need to be able to apply that abbreviation to describe the condition of the patient. So this would be a sample question. A patient with a heart condition which need, would need which test? So you would need to be able to understand heart condition and which of the following tests relate to the heart. BUN measures the blood urea nitrogen. This assesses kidney function. An EKG, which also stands for ECG, measures the heart. So that is probably our answer. LOC, well, you would need to understand what LOC means. LOC means loss of consciousness and this abbreviation, HB, which means hemoglobin. So let's take one more look back at EKG because I just told you in the previous slide that it was ECG. EKG comes from the German word cardi, which means starts with the letter K. So that's another thing you would have to know is the different variations of the abbreviation. So when we are learning the abbreviations, you must memorize the list of commonly used abbreviations. You will only learn what they stand for in this module. Once you enter a, a course that you would sign up for at a college or university or another type of school, you will need to be able to apply the meaning of the abbreviation with the disease that it is correlating with.